Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a few word problems related to HCF and LCM. We'll look at a typical problems which involve finding three digit, four digit number or a number which is divisible by some numbers or a number when divided by all these numbers leaves five, six, that kind of sums. So let's start with the first sum. Determine the smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6, 8 and 12. Now in this case, what it says is exactly divisible by. Exactly divisible by. What does it mean? Exactly divisible by. Which are the numbers which are exactly divisible by 6? They are 6. So all the numbers are basically multiples of 6, 8, 12. So what we are looking at is multiples. And we want that number should be divisible by 6, it should be divisible by 8 and it should be divisible by 12 also. So it should be divisible by all of them which means we are looking at common multiples. So what we'll do is we'll first find the LCM, least common multiple and let's see what we have to do next. So let's find the least common multiple LCM of 6, 8 and 12. So first I see 2 is a factor so I'll put 2. I still see 2 is factor of at least one of them. So 2 here, 3 comes as it is. Still we see one number for which 2 is a factor. So we'll use 2 here, 3 comes as it is, 2 ones are 2, 3 comes as it is. And now 2 is no more a factor. We go to the next prime number which is 3. We see 3 is a factor of these 2. So 3 ones are, 1 comes as it is, 3 ones are. So these are the numbers which we need to multiply. So LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. And that's equal to 24. So 24 is a common multiple. But what we are looking at is the smallest three digit number. Is 24 a three digit number? No. So we need to find the smallest three digit number. So what we'll do is we'll find multiples of 24. So which are the multiples of 24? And this is the smallest three digit multiple of 24, which means this is the smallest number which is divisible by all 6, 8 and 12. And therefore, the smallest three digit number exactly divisible by 6, 8 and 12 is 120. Determine the greatest three digit number exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. Now we know what is exactly divisible by means. This means we need to find multiples and because we want exactly divisible by three numbers, we need to have common multiples. So let's find LCM of these three numbers. So, the first factor obviously is 2. Still we have at least one even number, so 2 is a factor. 5 as it is because 5 cannot be divided completely by 2. Still we have one even number, so 2 still is a factor. Now, there is no even number, so we will go to the next prime number which is 3. Yes, 3 is a factor of one number. So, we'll take 3, 1, 5, 1 because 3 ones are 3. And now only number remaining is 5. So, we'll take 5 as a factor 1, 1, 1. And therefore, LCM is equal to. So, 120 is the LCM. But what we are looking at? We are looking at greatest three digit number. 120 is not greatest. There are so many greater number than 120. 
So again, we'll find the multiples of 120 and they are Okay, we have reached four digit number. So we don't, we are not interested in four digit numbers. So which is the last three digit number we have? We have 960. So 960 is the greatest three digit number exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. Find the least number which when divided by 6, 15 and 18 leave remainder 5 in each case. So again, we are talking about divided. So divided indicates that we need actually multiples of them because the number has to be bigger than them so that we can divide it. So the number what we are interested in is multiple and hence we are looking at LCM. Now once we find LCM, that number will be exactly divisible by them. But we don't want a number which is exactly divisible. What we want is we want a remainder of 5. So we will add 5 to the exactly divisible number. So when we divide, we'll have a remainder of 5. So let's find LCM first. We see even numbers, so 2 is a factor. 15 comes as it is because 15 cannot be divided by 2. Now we do not have any even numbers. So 2 is not a factor. Let's look at 3. Yes, 3 is a factor of one number at least. 3 1's are, 3 5's are, 3 3's are. We still have 1 3 here, so 3 is a factor 1. 5 remains as it is, 3 1's are. Now we only have 5. So 5 1's are. And so we get 1. So the LCM is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. And that is 3 3's are 9, 9 10's are. 90. So LCM is 90. We need to add 5 to this number so that when we divide that number by 6, 15 and 18, it will leave remainder 5. So our number is that is equal to 95. Let's cross check. So if I divide 95 by 6, 6 15s are 90 and remainder is 5. If I divide 95 by 15, 15 6 are 90 and again remainder is 5. Same way if I divide 95 by 18, 18 5 are 90 and remainder is 5. So that's correct. Our answer is 95. Find the smallest four digit number which is divisible by 18, 24 and 32. We have done these kind of examples earlier. So we know when we are talking about divisible by 18, 24 and 32, what we need to find is the common multiple of 18, 24 and 32. And that common multiple has to be a smallest four digit number. So let's first find multiples. Therefore, LCM is two into two into two into two into two into three into three. So five times two into three into three. Five times two is thirty-two. Thirty-two into three is ninety-six, and ninety-six into three is two hundred and eighty-eight. So two eighty-eight is the LCM of these three numbers. Because we want to find the four digit number, we need to find the multiples of these. So let's find the multiples of 288. And we see that this is our smallest four digit multiple of 288. And therefore, the number which we are looking at is 1152. 
I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.